How did you yeah. get into that niche? How did you choose a niche? Good question. I did it completely wrong. <laughs> I would I would choose a niche completely differently now um, because of, of the quote you mentioned to me uh, that I think I said in the video, big market, great team, which is definitely something we can chat about. But I just like gyms. I liked working out. I used to be super into fitness. Unfortunately, now I'm scrawny, you know, punk. But um, I used to be really into fitness and I loved gyms. So I was just like, oh, I'll work with gyms. Because if you can have a level of expertise in the industry you're serving, it separates you from everybody else. Yeah. Like if I can come in and talk Web three with you, mm -hmm. like it, you're like, oh, this guy actually knows his shit. I'm not just talking Facebook ads. I'm talking the ins and outs of your industry, and it builds trust. And trust is the most important thing in persuasion, which is the most important thing in sales. So that's why I chose the industry. Uh, I just liked it, and I knew a little bit about it. It's called understanding your problem space. Mm. I learned that from Sam Altman. By the way, guys, you could Good learn person, from the guy who made ChatGPT, OpenAI, Y Combinator, thousands of videos. How to start a startup is the best. So I'm so glad you said, bro, I love that. How to start a startup is the best YouTube series. Like this podcast will be good. Hopefully you'll hopefully learn something. But at, at the end of the day, like Sam Altman and the founders of DoorDash and Airbnb, all it's just in free YouTube videos. You get Stanford classes. It's free. crazy. From the people who made the biggest companies. YouTube University, brother. I love that. That's important, but that's why we're where we're at 100%. So I'm going to keep saying that on every damn podcast because it's so important. It. But it. brother, okay, so that's your system for getting real estate clients uh, like actual results for themselves. Yeah. So uh, go deeper in how you think about getting clients for your agency. You talked about the music video that's making a creative ad. What is that process? How do you come up with ad creatives? It kind of goes back to OPE in that specific... Mm -hmm instance of other people's expertise we just went to the video production guy and we had saw an ad he made for an hvac agency so again I, real estate that, yeah. real estate rap may sound like a super innovative idea but we saw somebody do it for hvac and we're just like oh what if we made that and we made it better steal and innovate that is the process find other people's ads other people's ads this guy posted it on facebook but you can go to facebook ads library and you can search up basically any industry and you can just go look at the best ads um, there's also things like Turbo Ad Finder, which you can, it's a Google Chrome extension. Uh, you put it into your laptop or whatever, and then you just turn it on. And then instead of seeing posts and shitty distractions on social media, it will just show you ads. And you'll just see ads and ads and ads. And you can look at the best ones. You can look at the engagement. You can look at, you know, if they have more views, they've probably spent more money, which means they've probably made more money. And so Turbo Ad Finder, um, Facebook Ad Library, there's a ton of ways to find ads. But in this case, like I just posted it to social media. My business partner tagged me. He was like, we need that. And I was like, okay, cool. We messaged the guy. He's like, oh yeah, man, I could cook that up for you next day. This guy's insane. Next day, he's just got the full song. And he's like, here it is. I'm like, all right. And then we made the music video. We ran it. Action takers. Yeah. Okay. So there's two, I'm so torn because I feel like I'm conflating the two, like getting clients for your agency and getting clients for your real estate clients. Is there anything else you'd want to share on actually getting your clients good results? Do you think is really important? You really have to, there's a ton, um, but like you really have to transfer ownership of the outcome to them because if they view you as a scapegoat for their lack of success, they will always be able to say, no, Brett, your lead sucked. So if you can, if you can properly transfer ownership of the outcome to them and you actually give them the training they need to be able to succeed and you really, you know, build the hybrid model, then your product, even if they don't succeed, and this happens to us all the time, if a client doesn't win, they're like, yeah, but I saw Sarah Lou winning. So like, I know it's me, guys. I'm sorry. I've been lazy. And they, they don't come to us like the typical agency and say, your leads suck. They come to us and they're like, man, I, I really need you guys to keep me accountable right now. That is such a paradigm shift um, of that industry. So that's all I would say. Transfer ownership of the outcome. To them. Okay, I'm about to get super detailed with you then. Cool. Okay, so you hire, you get a client. They saw your ad of you. Yeah. The music video got their attention. They booked with you. They want to sign up. So fulfillment wise. Yeah. They pay you $8,000 for six months. Then you're running ads for them. Yeah. Are, first off, are the ads you're using the same for every single client? You just changed their name to their logo yep. when you're doing fulfillment? Yep. Okay. And then what is the specific budget that they are? Because they're paying you $8,000 for your yeah. service to run the ads for your yeah. creativity, for your time, all your expertise and whatnot. But then they still have to pay for the ads that you are running. Correct. So what does that model look like? 600 to to $1,000 per month is what they're spending on ads. Um, yeah. Super short answer. Okay, that makes sense though, because it's not that complex. So they have to pay eight thousand. They have to be ex uh, ready to spend six to six hundred to a thousand dollars to even get the clients. Yep. And then you're putting, you send them a free course so yeah. they can make sure that they're optimized on 
closing. They know the best practices. Yeah. And that way you know that it's not you, it's them. If they're Yeah. And the course isn't free. It's part of what they pay for. So we're not just selling them leads. It's included. And then there's, we do eight calls per week where in our community, we have multiple coaches, lead industry leaders that come on and you can go and ask questions. They do master classes. We bring on special guests. Um, and we just, yeah, we we teach them eight times a week. We have live calls. We have a community. We're about to make an inner circle where people can basically the best of the best can go upgrade um, to a more elite coaching and a more inner private um, circle. And yeah, but that's that's the hybrid component. We're doing live calls, live trainings, and we also do one-on-one meetings occasionally.